Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. Well, down here, you, you can't see me either way. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. TGIF or TGIM or whenever you decide to watch this, whatever. Um, so as you can see, we have a package. It's in a boot. You guys know how much I love the boot. So let's get into the boot. Oh, y'all remember my cute, adorable little junk bag from Kelly. I'll link her down below, that, down that way. Either way. So yes, I ordered something from AliExpress. It took it about 13 days to get here, which isn't bad. Gotta do a little surgery on it quick. See if we can get in here. Now, the reason I don't like the boot is usually, well, get rid of that. It's usually because whenever you get stuff in the boot, it usually comes distorted. So I always have to cross my fingers whenever I see the boot. So for those wondering why I don't like the boot, it's because usually whenever I get something in it, it is ruined. But I don't know if you can see that, which of course you can see it. It is on a foam roller, so that might save it. Also, you can kind of see what I got, but not really. Let's pop one of these. All right, I feel better about myself. So let's open this bubble boot. Now, if they put it on the foam roller like this, what ends up happening is if you roll it just in the bubble boot, the bubble boot essentially forms around your painting and then that will cause it to form around there and cause creases and bubbles and rivets and all that stuff we hate. But if they put it on the foam roller like this, that's not bad. Even though it looks like somebody had part of the foam roller for lunch. Like, why does it look like somebody was eating the foam roller? Either way, um, it's on both sides too. They must've got real hungry. Either way, so we got the canvas and we got drills. Ooh, and we got a toolkit and we'll get, get rid of that bubble boot because y'all don't care about that. The toolkit has a weird drill pin with a nine placer on it, a pair of cheapo tweezers, a long plate of wax, and a boat with a spout. Forgot to tell you where this came from. This comes to us from, hold on. Let me see if I can find the name of the store real quick for you. This comes to us from the Ye Bright store on AliExpress. Now I've ordered from them before, but if you guys remember, that was a gift from my mother-in-law, which for Mother's Day, she got her first DAC. She was super excited. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna get rid of the toolkit. Y'all don't care about that. We're gonna go off camera here and unroll this so we don't ruin it. Every time I watch these videos back, I'm like, oh, I should have did this. And I can already see the glue is coming up on the one side over here. So we're gonna try to lift this up the best we can. Try to get it to relax a little bit. I already see a little bit of a bubble. It's not too bad. I'm trying to concentrate as I slowly pull this back. And of course, whenever you're looking at it, you don't want to take it completely off. It looks like the, the canvas just has some humps in it. It doesn't look like it has any major issues. There's like a tiny little something right there, but we're not going to be nitpicky. So if you can't see that, it is, well for you, it's probably upside down. So we're going to flip it around. It is a pair of koi fish. Now, you know, I love koi fish. Mr. Coffee loves koi fish. I love koi fish because Mr. Coffee loves koi fish. Um, so I got some koi fish. So we're gonna open up the other side. We're gonna try to smooth that piece out. Now this is the side. And if you ever get your painting and you notice the glue is coming up off the painting, rub it. Rub the crap out of it. Rub it till your finger starts burning. Okay, so it does have a legend on one side of the canvas. It doesn't have it on the other side, which is fine. I only need it on one side. And then we're gonna now that we rubbed it, it keeps that glue down on that side. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this back. And again, this is not a bubble. It's actually a bump in the canvas from the way it was sitting. Yeah, it's not a bubble. 
So you just have two koi fish surrounding a lily pad, or not a lily pad, I'm sorry, a lotus flower. So if you can't tell, which if you can't tell that by now, there's something wrong. This is what it looks like. Sorry, camera angles. Blue. It is a koi fish and the lotus flower. Lotus flowers are kind of our thing, so yeah. But this is from the Bright store. We're gonna bring you down so you can look at this. Uh, you can look at this legend, or not legend, but so you can look at the symbols. Can you see that? There you go. So the symbols look good. Nice and clear. They are dark, but at least 90% of the symbols are uh, dark colors on a lighter background. Like, like they don't have white on this bur this beige area over here or this gray area. So that's pretty good. Um, you don't need to be all in my business like that. Zoom out. Roll out. All right. So, so far, so good. Canvas is awesome. So, no worries there. And I'm gonna hang this somewhere. Maybe I can con Mr. Coffee into doing it. The back of it's a little wrinkled, but again, we all have wrinkles, let's not judge. Matter of fact, we're gonna dig back into our goodie bag here and get out our measuring tape. Let's measure this bad boy. This is a 30, I'm sorry, a 40 by 30. So let's see, is it true to size? Oh, wrong side, might help if I can actually use the measuring tape. All right, nope, again, that one's flipped on the wrong side. So it's 40 there, and my phone won't shut up, and it's 30 there. So it is true to size. Awesome, awesome, so far so good. Now let's get to these drills. So if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Are you still having a good day? I know, I know, I'm sorry, Rachel. She hates it when people talk while they're trying to undo stuff. Anyways, all right. So again, we have the legend and all the stuff we need to complete this. Why do I keep having problems today? And then we have our drills. Some of them are separate. Oh, look, we have a bag of baggies. Nice. Anybody ever got in trouble for having a bag of baggies in their car? Say you got a diamond painting and you were looking at it and then you got the bag of baggies and you get pulled over by the cops and they ask you what the bag of baggies are for? Asking for a friend. Either way. So let's see if we have everything. Um, let me find a pen so I can mark these off. I gotta be a little bit more prepared. You would think, but you, yeah, you came to the wrong prop channel if you thought there was like, you know, organization or anything. All right, so we got a pen. Hopefully it works, probably not, but we're gonna test this theory out. We are going to check these drills, see if they're all here, and then I'll let you know. So, and go. Not all of the drills are here. From the looks of it, oh, I lied, boom. All right, so all the drills are here. Apparently, because it's hard to see the number on the bag. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do our makeup hand. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really hard to see that number on that bag, so I mistake one bag for another bag, but all the drills are here. It looks to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So it has 31 colors. All the colors are here. There are a crap ton of 3768, which is this gray color, obviously. 3768 has 21 bags. 
And then 317 has another 20 bags. And then, which one is this? 930 has 19 bags. So between these alone, this is most of the painting right here. This is the most colors. Like this is a tealish color. And then we have a dark gray and a lighter gray. I'm gonna guess it's dark gray and lighter gray. So yeah, so we have some yellow colors for the inside of the flower. We have some green for the leaves. We have some or oranges for the actual fish themselves. So yeah, so I think this is gonna turn out pretty nice. So what I'm gonna start doing is, I know I usually diamond paint really fast. I have been taking a break from diamond painting for the last couple of days. Um, so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna wanna start, to, I'm gonna slow down with my diamond painting only because I wanna start trying to do more than one at a time. I like doing more than one at a time. It gives me a little bit more of a challenge. So I think I'm gonna work on a bigger kit and then I'll work up one of my AliExpress kits with it because I know you guys see me work up a lot of Diamond Art Club and I wanna give you some variety. Where I do love Diamond Art Club, do not get me wrong. Don't even, don't even go there. I love me some Diamond Art Club. I do wanna mix things up so you guys can see some of the other paintings finished. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna work on one Diamond Art Club for half the week and then uh, AliExpress for half the week. That way I'm getting twice as much done. And hopefully you guys can see a lot more stuff being completed from me rather than Diamond Art Club being completed. Like I just finished Co Tart's uh, Mother and Child. I didn't do a review of it, but I need to. So maybe I'll do a review of it next week. So matter of fact, on Tuesday next week, I will have a review for you for Co Tart's Mother I have not seen it already. It's up in my group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. Um, I did post a picture of the completed project, but for some reason I didn't do, like I didn't do a time lapse of it because you guys had the time lapses for Mindful Monday. So I didn't do a time lapse of the finish, but I will actually do a video and tell you all about the Cotart one since it was sent for review. But as for this, this came perfect. It came in 13 days. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, that's actually pretty good for AliExpress. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Did you like the little koi fish? Because they're adorable. Aren't they adorable? Isn't that picture adorable? So, price-wise, this, again, is a 40 by 30. It is a square, if I didn't say that. So, for this picture in a 40 by 30 square, you're looking at about $9.37, which is not bad at all. So, $9.37, that's American, for those of you who don't know. Sorry, I've never said that before, but for some reason I was impaled. I felt compelled to tell you. So, that's $9.37 American. It is a square. It has 31 colors. It comes with your normal basic, basic pumpkin spice tool kit. It has the canvas, which came in a bubble boot, but around a foam roller that it looks like somebody was chewing on. I'm not even joking. Who was eating this foam roller? Seriously, feed these people lunch. Oh my gosh. Anyways, y'all don't care about that. All the drills were here. You got some extra baggies. You got an inventory sheet. Everything I need to get started on this is here. So I think I might kit this up and work with it with my other project. But that will be something I do for a later time because right now I'm taking a break. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't really give a crap. If you're not already a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm gonna do like I always do and remind you to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.